Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you a 65 watt power delivery module that can be used to power various devices operating at 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts. We'll check its output voltages using a simple USB trigger module, and at the end, we'll test the maximum output power this module can deliver at each voltage level. This module supports power delivery, fast charging up to 65 watts, QC 3.0. With a wide input range of 8 to 30 volts, it adapts to different power sources while maintaining reliable performance. The output voltage is provided through the Type-C port while the input is connected at these points. The main control chip of the board can be seen here. At a compact size of 32 by 20 by 10 millimeters, it's lightweight and easy to integrate into various projects or devices. With a conversion efficiency of 92% to 97%, it minimizes energy loss while delivering stable output. Now let's fix the module on the table using double-sided tape so we can start testing. I'll be using this Type-C to Type-C fast charging cable, which supports up to 100 watts power transfer. For voltage selection, I'll use this USB trigger module. It takes input through the Type-C jack and provides output voltage at these terminals. Let's connect a multimeter to verify each output. As you can see, the 65-watt module is capable of providing different voltage levels as required. Now it's time to test the maximum output power using a load tester. Starting with 20 volts, I'll increase the load in 0.5 amp steps.
the module can easily provide up to around 79 watts without a significant voltage drop. At 15 volts, the module automatically shuts down at 43 watts, which defines its maximum output limit for this setting. At 12 volts, it delivers up to 35 watts with very little voltage drop.
At nine volts, the maximum output is about 26 watts. And finally, at 5 volts, it can provide up to 16 watts. So overall, this small module is quite powerful and efficient across all supported voltage levels. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep the spirit of engineering alive.